The Diligent Girl and the Lazy Girl Full Story Long ago an old man lived with his second wife. Both had a girl from their first marriage. The old man's wife tells her daughter not to do anything and allows her to rest throughout the day. Because of this, she had become very lazy. Her daughter always praised herself. She used to bother her stepdaughter a lot. She always told her do the housework all day long. Sometimes the girl would be asked to do one thing over and over again. Her stepdaughter was very good who worked without complaining. One day she reached out to talk to her father and said to him, Father, I think now I should go out and earn some money so that we can manage the house more thoroughly. It will also bring money for your treatment and our house will also get better. Yes my sweetheart, you are right. Anyway, you keep on working all day. It would be better if you work for someone else, you will get some money. Dad told his daughter. While the two were talking among themselves, her stepmother was also standing there listening to them. Hearing this, she started thinking that her stepdaughter would bring money in the house and she would fulfill her wishes by taking it. The next day she was about to leave her house for someone's house where she could work. As she was leaving the house, her father said to her, Daughter, go well wherever you are going. Do help of any needy and help the destitute. Always be honest to others. Hearing this from father, that girl went out in search of work. She kept on walking for several days but could not find anyone where she could work. But a few days later she saw a pear tree which had completely dried up. The pear tree begged the girl, Hey girl, will you do one thing for me? In return I will do a noble thing for you. Tell me what to do sir? The girl asked. The tree said to the girl, Can you break my dry twigs? If you do that I will get rid of them and... New leaves will come on me. Yes, I can do it. Saying this, the girl broke all the dry twigs of the tree and dropped it down. After this happened, the tree said to him, You must be very tired. Thank you very much. The girl said, Never mind you needed help and I should have helped. Then she moved forward. After walking for some time, she saw a grapevine creeper. There was some problem in the roots of that creeper. The grapevine said to the girl, Oh girl, will you do one thing for me? In return I will do a noble thing for you. Can you dig the soil near my roots so that I can recover well? Yes, why not, I can do it for you. After this, the girl picked up a nearby hoe and started digging. The soil of that place. Her hands were swollen and her hands were dirty while digging the soil. The work was completed the grapevine told her, Thank you very much, but your hands are swollen and dirty. Never mind it will be all right. You needed help and I should have helped. After saying this she moved forward. While walking, she saw an oven whose condition was very bad. On seeing him, it was understandable that no work has been done on him for several days. As soon as oven saw the girl, he said to her, Oh girl, can you fix me? In return I will do a noble thing for you. Yes, I can fix you well. Having said this, the girl mixed the mud lying nearby with her feet. Then the girl healed the oven with that mud. After the oven was cured, he told the girl, Thank you very much, but your hands and feet have become very dirty. You don't worry about it, it will be washed away. You needed help and I should have helped. After saying this, she moved forward again. While walking ahead, she found a well. The well said to her, Can you clean me out of the stale water inside me? In return I will do a noble thing for you. No one comes to me and drinks my water because my water is rancid. Yes, I can. Saying this, the girl took out all the stale water from the well and washed it. Thoroughly and cleaned it. After this, the well thanked her. Never mind you needed help and I should have helped. The girl told the well. Now she happily moved forward. After walking for some time, she found a dirty dog. The dirty dog looked at the girl and said, Oh girl, can you give me a bath? There is too much dust and 
dirt on me. In return I will do a noble thing for you. Yes, I can do it. Saying this, the girl took the dog to the river. Bathed it well. The dog looked. Very nice after bathing. The girl also took a good bath and cleaned herself. After this, the dog said to her, Thank you very much. Never mind you needed help and I should have helped. The girl said. She moved forward again. Moving on, she saw a large palace. She thought that she would go inside the palace and ask for work. There were seven fairies inside. Those seven said to her, You have to clean the house properly. There are total seven rooms out of which you have to clean only six rooms. Do not open the seventh room. Yes, I will do as you say. The girl told to them. After that, the girl started cleaning the palace very well and cleaning the remaining six rooms very well. She never looked towards the seventh room. Two months passed while working. After two months, the girl got a lot of money. The fairies asked her, why didn't you try to go to the seventh room? Because my father told me that it's important to be honest about my work and about others. That's why I never thought about it. The fairies were overjoyed to hear this girl. Then the fairies took her to the seventh room. As soon as she opened the seventh room, there were lots of gold and silver coins. They told the girl, you roll here. The more coin you can stick in your body, the more you can take with you. That girl did the same. She started to roll over those coins, and a lot of coins were stuck on her body. She returned to her home with her money and those coins. On the way, she found that dog with many pearls on his body. The dog said to her, Oh girl, you had helped me, and I give you all these pearls. She moved forward with those pearls. She got that well next. The well told the girl, Oh girl, you cleaned me. Come to me, drink my water. She drank the water of the well and went ahead. Then she got that oven. The oven said to her, Come to me, and you can eat whatever is kept here. The girl picked up the cake from there and ate it with pleasure and proceeded. Next she got the grapevine, he said to her, Oh girl, come to me and drink my wine. The girl drank a lot of wine and took a little for her house. After this, she moved forward and went ahead. In the way she found that pear tree. The tree said to her, Oh girl come to me and eat my fruit. She ate that fruit and started walking forward. A few days later, she reached her home. As soon as she reached home, she saw that her father was even better than before. Her step. Mother was stunned to see her. She had a lot of money. The stepmother immediately went to her daughter and said, You two should work for a rich person and earn a lot of money. Saying this, she also sent her daughter out of the house. She also met all those who had met her stepsister. But she refused to assist them and went ahead. She also reached the fairy's house. She was given the task of cleaning the entire house and six rooms there. The girl was forbidden not to enter the seventh room, but she opened the seventh door. There were frogs and lots of bees inside the room. The bee and the frog attacked directly over her, causing many wounds to the girl's body. She started going back to her house with her wounds. On the way, she found a dog with pearls. The dog refused to give the pearls. She then went further to where she found a well. The well also refused to give her water. After that, she saw an oven. But, the oven also refused to give her anything. She then went ahead. She got that grapevine. The grapevine also refused to give her wine. Then she went to the pear. Tree. Pears also refused to give her the fruit. In this way, she reached her house in bad condition. Teaching of the story is As you sow, so you reap, 